If we look back at Windsor, Essex 100 years ago, we would see a community that is very different than the one we live in today. However, decade after decade, the Rotary Club of Windsor 1918 strived to put service above self. Rotary was first established in 1905 by Paul Harris in Chicago, Illinois. Meetings rotated between the offices of the first four members, a lawyer, a coal dealer, a merchant, and a mining engineer. To quote Rotary's founder, the greatest of all achievements are the combined effort of heart and head and hand, working in perfect combination. This is reflected in Rotary's three very important parts, Rotary Clubs, Rotary International, and the Rotary Foundation. Through these, people from every continent and culture come together to exchange ideas, form friendships, and foster professional connections while making a difference around the world as well as in their own backyards. When Rotary began in Windsor, Essex, it was early 1918. The Great War was still months away from its end, but the Rotary movement was starting to sweep Canada, North America, and the world. Mirroring its original conception, four prominent citizens in Windsor, including Harry Neal, who would later be referred to as the inspirational father of Windsor Rotary, decided to start a men's club. Like other clubs they'd heard about, they too wanted to give professionals with diverse backgrounds the opportunity to exchange ideas and give back to their communities. They wanted to be part of something bigger. Today, the club they formed, the Rotary Club of Windsor 1918, is definitely a part of something bigger. 1.2 million men and women worldwide bigger. Sponsoring other clubs in the area, such as Amherstburg, Essex, St. Clair, and Roseland, they are often referred to as the grandfather of Rotary in Windsor, Essex. And their inspirational work began before their charter was even received. In that first year, with only a single hospital. Windsor was in dire need of more hospital beds. So the Rotary Club of Windsor 1918 helped raise funds for the Salvation Army to purchase the Ellis Home on Crawford Avenue. This was then converted into Windsor's second general hospital, Grace Hospital. In that same year, the Rotary Club of Windsor 1918 held their first Christmas party for children in need, a tradition that continued well into the 90s. In 1922, Arthur Fitzgerald, then president of Windsor Rotary, invited nine other Rotary clubs to meet. The Ontario Society for Crippled Children, or as we know it today, Easter Seals, was born. Back then, each member was assigned a family to assist, and teams would often canvas for funds needed, which eventually evolved into the wonderfully successful telethons we see on TV today. Continuing to work closely with the community, a joint meeting with the Chamber of Commerce resulted in the founding of Metropolitan Hospital in 1923. Each decade brought events of great impact. In the early 40s, Rotarians were extremely active in the war effort. The Rotary Club of Windsor 1918 presented a mobile kitchen to Portsmouth, England and kept it supplied with food and utensils, a grand gesture that was nobly executed. This mobile canteen not only provided much needed nutrition, but also a place for troops to enjoy a spell of comfort. Throughout the 50s and 60s, Rotary's commitment to Windsor Essex only grew stronger. Rotary helped to support the building of outdoor pools in the area, including those at Atkinson, Shore Acres, and the Prince Road Swimming Pool. They also provided seed money to start Goodwill Industries and assisted with the development of the Senior Citizen Center, now known as Life After 50. In the 1970s, many local projects were on the go, including the building of the Essex County Children's Rehabilitation Center, now known as the John McGivney Children's Center, a place of hope, support, and inspiration for children with disabilities and their families. In 1978, the Rotary Club of Windsor 1918 also took over Art in the Park, an event that has not only gained popularity over the years, but has also raised over $1.3 million to preserve the historical integrity of Willistead Manor, as well as $2 million for a variety of other local projects. While Rotarians worked tirelessly on these initiatives to better their communities, they also wanted to transition and evolve. In 1987, the vote passed to allow the admission of women into Rotary, and the response to this was overwhelming. Immediately following the vote, the Rotary Club of Windsor 1918 admitted their first female members, and since then have elected six women to become president. 
In the 90s, the Rotary Clubs in Windsor broadened their focus on children in the community. The Rotary Home for Children and Youth at Maryvale was established to help children and teens in crisis. The Children's Fest was also founded, an annual family-focused community event. The Heart Walker Initiative was also an important undertaking at this time, a device invented by David Hart in England to help children with cerebral palsy. Upon the realization that the $9,000 cost of bringing these walkers from England was far beyond the reach of most parents, Windsor Rotarians took action. Club members persuaded local tool and die and mold companies to make all of the parts for the walkers at no cost. Volunteers would assemble them and hold fundraisers for therapist fees. Youth-focused endeavors continued, and in 2002, construction began on the Children's Safety Village, which provides on-site safety education programs to as many as 10,000 elementary school children. In 2007, the Rotary Club of Windsor 1918 made one of the most significant announcements in the club's history, a $500,000 contribution to Maryvale's Rotary Home for Children and Youth as well as an astounding $1 million to the John McGivney's Children's Center. In addition, since 2013, the Rotary Club of Windsor 1918 has provided more than 50 grants, totaling over $200,000 to organizations here in Windsor, Essex, all helping to prove that they truly are a million-dollar club. Helping to guide our youth and energize the next generation of community leaders is an undertaking that has remained at the forefront of the Rotary Movement. Among the oldest are the International Programs for Ambassadorial Scholars, now known as Global Scholars, as well as the Youth Exchange Program, which sends an average of 7,000 youth to over 40 different destinations to study for a year. The Rotary Club of Windsor 1918 has supported four to five students every year since starting the program many years ago. Windsor Rotarians also sponsor both Interact and Rotaract clubs. Chartered just like Rotary clubs, they provide the opportunity for young people to learn the ways of Rotary. Other major programs focusing on youth in Windsor, Essex include RILA, the Rotary Youth Leader Awards, an annual leadership program for high school students, as well as the Dr. Claire McLeod Volunteer Award, which recognizes one student from each high school in Windsor, Essex that exemplifies service above self. Decade by decade, we have recounted what seems like endless local highlights. However, Rotary Clubs in Windsor, Essex, together with Rotary International, have made extraordinary contributions abroad as well. Rotary Club members have been providing essential services and support in 30 different countries spanning the globe from Afghanistan to Zimbabwe. Even before Rotary International identified the six areas of focus, the Rotary Club of Windsor 1918 was providing sanitation systems and clean water through wells and rainwater harvesting. From building schools, libraries, and medical clinics to sending volunteers and much-needed equipment and supplies, the programs and services they've put in place not only encourage independence, but drastically improve the economic conditions in these communities. Believing good health care is everyone's right, treating and preventing disease is also an initiative high on Rotary's list. Their efforts have ended polio in an astounding 122 countries, with the Rotary Club of Windsor 1918 contributing over $300,000 to Polio Plus. Their continued support for basic education and literacy, as well as peace building in regions affected by warfare, prove that the work of Rotarians abroad is ever-changing and never complete. The guiding principles for Rotarians everywhere has been the foundation of their values. Service, fellowship, diversity, integrity, and leadership. With a century under their belts and an unrelenting passion for service, one can't help but wonder, what does the future have in store for Rotary? As they celebrate their centennial, an amazing milestone, the Rotary Club of Windsor 1918 is undertaking a large legacy venture and funding local community infrastructure projects as their 100th birthday gift to their community. Moving forward, Rotary's strategic plan provides the framework to ensure that they continue to be recognized as a respected, dynamic organization that advances communities worldwide. One of the things that is most amazing about the story of Rotary is that this club that started with just a four-man meeting fundamentally remains the same. 
the same innate need by Rotarians, no matter where they are, to do good, to be better, so they can help others do the same. Every year, the baton of Rotary leadership passes to a new class of leaders. It will be the focus of these newest Rotarians to bring modern ideas, fresh enthusiasm, and build on the accomplishments of their predecessors to leave even stronger clubs for the generations that follow. To keep being unafraid, to dream big, and set bold goals. To continue to prove that Rotary is the ultimate example of what can be accomplished when hearts and minds work together. Paul Harris expressed it best. May our happiness increase with our usefulness. But Rotary will be 100 years hence, none living can imagine. There is nothing impossible to Rotary now.